The lawsuit Held versus Montana drew a ton of attention in state district court last year, and that pattern continued on Wednesday when it appeared before justices of the Montana Supreme Court. The chamber was already full 45 minutes before the arguments began, and dozens more people watched a live stream in an overflow room next door. The held case started when 16 young plaintiffs sued the state, claiming their policies on greenhouse gases were contributing to climate change and harming their right to a clean and healthful environment. This case is about Montana's climate, Montana's constitution, and Montana's children. The state appealed the district court's ruling that invalidated a law prohibiting agencies from considering greenhouse gas emissions in environmental reviews. During Wednesday's hearing, attorneys for the state argued the courts weren't the right place to resolve these questions, and that the issue of climate change was so large scale that what the plaintiffs asked for wouldn't resolve the harms they pointed to. The state never did contest, and, and I, I hope this is clear, uh, that there are anthropogenic human factors that contribute to this problem. That doesn't mean that we feel that this global problem can be influenced in any way by a state district court judge in Montana. But the plaintiff's attorneys argued the law had put blinders on agencies, and this was the appropriate way to push back. At a news conference afterwards, plaintiffs said the state's arguments were evading responsibility. Why would you not be one piece of the complex solution to the complex problem? Why would you not use this case as an opportunity to create momentum into the future? Now it'll be up to the justices to decide when and how they want to make their ruling. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.